So I, I have to ask the question, dialysis is one of those services. Mm -hmm. Are we still working on trying to get dialysis services closer to home here? Yeah, so absolutely. And I think, you know, Wendy, it's, it's one, uh, you know, when I, when I arrived here, I had no idea that dialysis wasn't actually <laughs> provided by Quinty Health. Uh, and I can't say that I wasn't deeply disappointed yeah. uh, when I got here. However, uh, it is uh, offered through uh, one of our uh, partner or you know uh, hospitals, which is Kingston. Uh, and Kingston works with uh, the Ontario Renal Network to plan uh, for expansion. So we have been advocating uh, recently. We got a, a local clinic that's been expanded, which I, I think mm -hmm. is going to help. Uh, but we have to advocate and continue to advocate uh, to uh, work through that opportunity. And we would like to include that as part of our clinical service planning, even though we're not responsible and we can't actually approve it. We would like to include that. If our community says that's the most important thing and we can collect data, it's just another source uh, for us to actually work together in terms of advocacy. I think that's very important for the community to know that it's yeah. not dead in the water yeah. and that it's something that's still being worked on. You know, every year, the foundation has to uh, raise money to, to mm -hmm. fund medical equipment that the government doesn't fund. Mm -hmm. So this year you've asked us for $1.8 million yes. in new and replacement equipment. Why is it so important for the community to help us and invest in this equipment for our staff and for our patients? So uh, many, many people don't know that government does not pay for equipment. And uh, so if you want uh, your community to have the best care possible, we have to give our teams and clinicians the best equipment possible and equipment changes you know it uh, you you think about if you were using the same phone you know from from 1990 <laughs> you know you, you probably wouldn't even know how to flip it open or yeah. find the buttons it's the same equipment changes and yeah. the difference so so when you think about a phone changing you know maybe it makes your life easier in fact maybe it doesn't make our life easier because we're spending too much time on them but for equipment yeah. it actually saves lives right yeah. So if you can have a new mammogram that actually can detect uh, uh, things that weren't possible even five years ago, it, it, it changes the individual lives. So that's why it's so important. Uh, similar, um, you know, uh, healthcare and medicine is just changing so quickly. You need to be able to do that. Other ones, another great example is something as simple as beds. Mm -hmm. You know, for our, uh, the seniors in our, in our community, if you don't have a good bed, we have the potential of uh, actually having their skin deteriorate, for them to have pressure ulcers. Uh, so we need to replace our beds. We have a lot of people come through. So there's tons of practical examples of and either. And people don't realize yeah. either. A bed could be $8,000, yes. upwardly $42,000 yeah. for a bariatric patient, yeah. right? It's, uh, um, like the mammogram, $650,000. Yes, and we I'm, have so, to raise. I'm so excited you're to be coming to, uh, to come into <laughs> Boob Bash uh, later, uh, later this month to, uh, to help raise. Uh, the, the public should know. I personally donate to uh, and Tre so do I. Trenton Memorial Hospital. That's right. Uh, and uh, am, you know, right behind all the volunteer, uh, sorry, not the volunteer efforts, but the fundraising efforts. And uh, we, every dollar counts. Um, and I know we have everything from, you know, kids uh, to older adults right. uh, to philanthropists in our community. The, the other area, and, and Wendy and I have talked about it, of the other potential, you know, it's just not equipment, but how do we support our teams here? How do we help them to get education? I know you have bursary and funds. Yeah. Um, we not only have to give the best equipment, but we actually have to make this a really fabulous place to work and support people That's in the right. development of their skills. So uh, there are, there are um, really important opportunities uh, to make local health care better by uh, supporting and fundraising for your So hospital. investing in the foundation yes. is, is an investment in your health care and that of your community. Well, especially the Trenton Memorial Hospital Foundation, you, you know, and I'm, I'm not going <laughs> to talk about locally, but let's say provincially. That's right. You are fantastic, right? You, you guys uh, you. are really progressive. Uh, you're really responsible. You're ethical. Uh, so I can't think of a better place. We love what we do. Yeah, you can't think, I can't <laughs> think of a better place for people to invest uh, their dollars uh, yeah. and uh, because you know you're going to get a great return. You're actually, for every dollar you put in, you're, you're going to have a stronger right. hospital and you're going to have a better team and you're going to have better equipment. That's so. right. Stacy, thank you so much for being with us today. You're it's welcome. been a pleasure and we really look forward to working with you even more. Me too. Thanks.